has delivered another thrilling round on his return to the Arnold Palmer Invitational, where he opened with a four under par 68. That means he's four shots back off Henrik Stenson, who leads by a shot after a superb eight under 64. There was a return to form for Rory McIlroy. He's five shots back on three under, and that's despite finishing with a double. Make sure you stay with us here on Sky Sports News because there is plenty to keep you entertained. Premier League Daily is on the way. 10 a.m. We will be looking back on Arsenal's win last night with Phil Babb and Danny Higginbottom. Then at 11 o'clock, it's a Champions League draw. Guillaume Balaguer joins our lineup for that. Liverpool and Manchester City fans, you don't want to be missing it. And we will be hearing from Celtic captain Scott Brown this lunchtime in an exclusive interview. It'll be the first time he's spoken since announcing his retirement from international football for the second time. And make sure you watch Football Centre from one o'clock. That is where you can see a host of Premier League manager news conferences as soon as they are Six days before the first test with New Zealand, England spinner Mason Crane will return home from the tour after suffering. Now make accident. sure you stay with us here on Sky Sports News because there is plenty to keep you entertained. Premier League Daily is on the way at 10 a.m. We'll be looking back on Arsenal's win last night with Phil Babb and Danny Higginbottom. Then at 11, for the Champions League draw. Gilliam Guillaume Balaguer joins our lineup for that. Liverpool and Manchester City fans, you don't want to miss it. We'll be hearing from the Celtic captain Scott Brown this lunchtime in an exclusive interview. It'll be the first time he's spoken since announcing his retirement from international football for the second time. And make sure you watch Football Centre from 1 p.m. It's where you can see a host of Premier League manager news conferences as soon as they come in. The road to Kiev and the Champions League final continues today with a draw for the quarterfinals. And there are some heavyweight sides still left in the competition. Real Madrid with their 12 European Cups lead the way. Barcelona dumped out Chelsea in the last round. They've won five titles, the last one being in 2015. Bayern Munich last won it in 2013 under Jupp Heinrichs. The manager is back as they look for their sixth European Cup. And who could forget Liverpool's triumph in 2005? If they can repeat the feat, it would be their sixth triumph. Juventus are desperate to win the Champions League. They've lost two finals in the last three years. And then come Manchester City, Roma and Sevilla. All three teams going in search of their first Champions League The Kiev League and the Champions title. League final continues today with a draw for the quarterfinals. And there are some heavyweight sides still left in the competition. Real Madrid with their 12 European Cups lead the way. Barcelona dumped out Chelsea in the last round. They've won five titles, the last one being in 2015. Bayern Munich last won it in 2013 under Jupp Heinrichs. The manager is back as they look for their sixth European Cup. And who could forget Liverpool's triumph in 2005? If they can repeat the feat, it would be their sixth triumph. Juventus are desperate to win the Champions League. They've lost two finals in the last three years. And then come Manchester City, Roma and Sevilla. All three teams going in search of their first Champions now, League. Now make sure you stay with us here on Sky Sports News because there is plenty to keep you entertained. Premier League Daily is on the way at 10 a.m. We'll be looking back on Arsenal's win last night with Phil Babb and Danny Higginbottom. Then at 11, it's a Champions League draw. Guillaume Balaguer joins our lineup for that. Liverpool and Manchester City fans, you don't want to miss it. We'll hear from Celtic captain Scott Brown this lunchtime in an exclusive interview. It'll be the first time he's spoken since announcing his retirement from international football for the second time. And make sure you watch Football Centre from 1pm. It's where you can see a host of Premier League manager news conferences Cool. from Tiger Woods, who's four shots off the lead at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. This was his scorecard for the opening round, and it was a decent four under par, 68. He started on the 10th and had three birdies on his first nine. There was a double bogey, six, though, on the third. Woods recovered from that setback and finished with three birdies in his final six Now goals. to the climax of the Cheltenham Festival. It's Gold Cup Day. Let's go live to Coral's Simon Clay.